suppose you're out with a group of friends, gazing at the night sky, and someone says, did you know they just found a black hole at the center of our galaxy? And someone else mentions dark matter, or how the whole universe was smaller than an atom the instant before the Big Bang. No, your friends aren't astrophysicists. They probably just have a good cheat sheet. And now, it's your turn. So sit back and relax. We'll take the notes. Since navigating your way through the history of the universe isn't easy, it helps to have a renowned physicist like Michio Kaku walk you through. Can you do that in less than an hour? Well, hey, I may have to skip over a few of the details, but I do want to delve into some of the highlights, the amazing discoveries astronomers and physicists have made in recent years, and their revolutionary new theories about the inner workings of our vast universe. And yes, we will even try to imagine how it will all end. Up until just a few hundred years ago, most people thought that the universe was a stable, static place that had been here forever and would continue forever. Today we know that nothing could be further from the truth. In reality, the universe is a violent, continually changing place that was born in a nanosecond of time. In the spectacular event we call the Big Bang. I've heard the Big Bang called the mother of all explosions. Is that accurate? Well, not an explosion so much as an expansion. What was it that expanded? Well, the whole universe, really, from a space that was infinitely small. Nothing at all, really. And it's still going on even today, this expansion, 13.7 billion years later. 13.7 billion years. That's a fairly precise number. How did we come up with it? It started with some educated guesswork and got refined through some pretty sophisticated technology. A remarkable astronomer named Edwin Hubble was the very first to make a reliable calculation of the age of the universe. When Hubble was at Mount Wilson in the 1920s, astronomers believed that the universe was still static, not moving. But when Hubble looked at the very distant galaxies through a large new telescope, he noticed that light was distorted. Yellow galaxies appear slightly reddish. He wondered if that might be due to something known as the Doppler effect. Now, every kid knows the Doppler effect when they play Star Wars with their rockets. They go, yung, yung. The change you hear in the sound, that's the Doppler effect. So when a car goes speeding by, you hear this sound. The same Doppler effect happens with starlight, which becomes distorted and changes color. Hubble was able to estimate the distance to certain stars and realized they were receding, moving away from us. That meant the universe wasn't static. It was expanding and had been for billions of years.